वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स टू केमिस्ट्री कॉन्सेप्ट दिस इज पंकज सिंह एंड टूडे नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द नेमिंग ऑफ बाई साइक्लो एंड ट्राई साइक्लो ऑर्गेनिक कंपाउंड फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वॉट आर दीज बाई साइक्लो कंपाउंड लेट मी ड्रॉ अ बाई साइक्लो कंपाउंड हेयर फॉर यू इट वुड बी लाइक दिस यस एंड दिस वन Now, what is special in this organic compound? That there are two different rings fused together. So these are called bicyclo compounds. Let me draw one more for you here, so that we can understand it properly. This one ring, and then there is another ring. So two rings fused together. Now, that there is a special thing that in bicyclo compound, as the name suggests, there are two different rings fused together because of which. Three different portions, three different of uh, parts of a bicyclo compounds are generated. So while naming this compound, what I have to do? First of all, uh, I would be calculating total number of carbon atoms present in the ring. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight carbons are there in this case. So no doubt the compound is octane. But the name of bicyclo compounds start with the term by cyclo, irrespective of the name. The name would be starting from the term by cyclo itself. Like in case of cyclic compound, we use the term cyclo. In case of by cyclo, like two rings, we'll be counting it by cyclo. Again, I repeat, there are two rings fused together because of which three different parts of a by cyclo compounds are generated. the first is this one which contains two carbon the second is this one which contains three carbons and the third is this one which contains only the one carbon the bridge one and here we are ignoring these uh, carbons we are not counting these carbon which are the common of the three portions so what i have to do now that i'll be starting from the term bicyclo and i'll draw a uh, a uh, right a uh, square bracket and in that square bracket i'll write three full stop two full stop one now what does these numbers indicate yes these number indicates the number of carbon atoms in different portions of the compound a uh, a bracket closed and as i said the name is octane Now here again in the second in the next compound, one, two, three, four, five, six. There are seven carbons, so the compound is no doubt heptane. But again, what will we do? We'll start from the term by cyclo square bracket, and in that square bracket we would be writing the number of carbon atoms in different portion. Here the carbons are two, the first one, the second one. Here again, the carbons are two, and here there is only one carbon. So I'll be writing it by cyclo two full stop two full stop one, not comma. It's a full stop. A bracket closed, and again the name heptane. That's it. I hope this was clear to you. Uh, let's take example of another compound. Another compound. Another by cyclo compound. Let's say this time I draw a different one. let me make it more complicated hmm this one so how many carbon atoms are there in total in this compound 1 2 3 4 uh let's say this one is also 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 now so there are 12 carbon so it is dodecane Eleven for one uh, for eleven it's undecane for twelve it is dodecane again. The next thing which we have to find out how many carbon atoms are present in different portion of the compound. In this one there are four carbons. In this one also there are four carbons and in the middle bridge there are two carbons. So the name is again as I just told you it starts from by. cyclo then in square bracket we write four full stop four full stop two actually uh, you must have noticed that we always write these number in descending order okay and then the name dodecane 
then set. That's how we write it. Now, what about tricyclo compounds? So, as I we just have uh, we just uh, uh, studied about uh, bicyclo compounds, the compounds in which two rings are fused. If three different rings are fused, it is called tricyclo. Now, what of what what about tricyclo? Let me give an example here. A similar one which we discussed earlier. Let's say this, and then there is one more portion. This. So now there are three different rings fused together, and total number of carbon atoms would be now let's say one, two, three, four, five, or four, yes, five and six and so on, and there is one more seven. So now we'll start it from the term tricyclo. In the bicyclo compounds, we started with bicyclo. Now we have to write it tricyclo. And in this in this tricyclo, there are four portions. In the first portion, there were two carbons. In the second portion also there are two carbons. In the third portion, there is only one carbon. And in the fourth portion, the bridge, the next fourth bridge, there is zero carbon. There is no carbon at all. So here we write it two, full stop two, full stop one, full stop zero. Now in some cases, in some cases over zero we write it four and three. That means the 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 second bridge, the second bridge is between carbon three and carbon four. We write it generally over the second bridge, and then the compound is yes, it is simply. Heptane. That's it. Okay. Let's take another example. Uh, okay. Let's take example of another compound. Uh, and let me first draw it. Then we will discuss about this. And let me make it little more. Okay. Now in this case, I uh, just uh, have a look carefully. First thing which I do, I find out the total number of carbon atoms. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Now the next thing which I will do is now there are two bridges. There are two bridges. The first thing which I'll do, which I have to do, is to choose that which bridge I would be taking as the primary bridge, which one would be taking as a secondary bridge. So let's say this is the main bridge. So this bridge divides actually the entire compound into two parts. The first part contains Two carbons, and the second part, if I ignore this bridge, contains one, two, three, four carbon. Apart from this, there is a secondary which bridge which contains two carbons. So, the, so uh, see carefully. The name would be tri cyclo. Then the first, the then one bridge contains four car. Oh, sorry, one part contains four carbon. Full stop. Another part contains two carbon. Full stop. One primary bridge which which contains two carbon, and one secondary bridge which again contains two carbon, and that secondary bridge is between carbon eleven, uh, carbon two and five. Carbon two, comma five. Actually, I used dash in the previous example, but we actually use comma, and then the name is do. Taken, etc. Okay, this one. The first thing which we do to find out total number of carbon atoms, carbon one, and I decide this one I'll be taking as the primary bridge. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then eleven. So there are total eleven carbons. The first bridge. I selected as the primary bridge, and the second next one is secondary bridge. So the primary bridge uh, divides this compound, the this compound into two parts. The first part, which contains three carbon, the second part contains one, two, three, four carbons. In the primary bridge, there is only one carbon, and in the secondary bridge, there is also one carbon. So the name is tri. Cyclo square bracket four 
full stop three full stop one four and then again full stop for the secondary bridge one is one carbon but that secondary bridge is between carbon two and carbon five square bracket closed and then we have to write down only cane because there were 11 carbon so it is only cane i hope these were clear to you maybe you have to go through this video number of times to understand because the concepts are a little tricky and still if you find any doubt you can always ask in our comment section and please don't forget to subscribe and share this video stay tuned for more videos of organic inorganic and um, physical chemistry thank you